Another great day for folks who are heading to the Walmart Amp and Rogers. Tonight, it's Smashing Pumpkins. All right, let's check back in with Robert. Uh, those concert goers been really lucky with the weather oh, so far yeah. this week. People who have tickets maybe this weekend and next week might not be as lucky. Yeah, remember uh, last week, I believe, when Darby was on the road, the person at the Amp mm -hmm. had a medical emergency because of the heat. Mm -hmm. So you've mm -hmm. got to be really cognizant of those hot temperatures, and they are making their way back as we go through the next couple of days. Yeah, the heat is, it's already starting to build back across areas to our southwest. You can see tomorrow, primarily the worst of the heat will be over Texas and southern Oklahoma. But as we go into time and go toward Friday, you'll be able to see that heat starts to expand toward our area. And then basically most of the southern plains and into the deep south will be under the heat dome as we get into the weekend. So what's causing the return? of the heat. Well, that's fairly simple. It's the winds, the winds at the surface. Our winds aren't too bad right now, but they are now out of the south. You look towards central western Oklahoma, those southerly winds are screaming their way toward the north. And that's just pulling up all of that heat, all of that humidity, uh, which we, we all love this time of the year. Right now, things are nice and quiet. There's Highway 412 in Salem Springs, where we're at 81 degrees. Notice, still have that nice dry dew point of 61, which is why you really don't have to worry about any type of heat index. Uh, elsewhere across northwest Arkansas, lower 80s for the most part on average. We'll take you high atop Cavanaugh Hill, what it looks like in Poda right now. Not a cloud in the sky. Those gorgeous sapphire blue skies that you're seeing in Poto. A little warmer though, 86 degrees, but still a 59 degree dew point in Oklahoma in, in August is a rarity. So enjoy it because things are about to change, as I said. Mostly in the River Valley, temperatures mid to upper 80s at this hour. We should be nice and quiet tonight. Really nothing to worry about. But notice by tomorrow morning, yeah, temperatures are a little bit warmer than they were this morning. Instead of upper 50s and lower 60s, lower to mid 60s across the area. A weak boundary will cross tomorrow afternoon. It might move a couple of extra clouds through the area, but really shouldn't do too much. 80s and 90s by tomorrow afternoon and then waking up Friday morning, 60s and 70s now for our morning temperatures. So that they're climbing that staircase of warmer temperatures. Now tonight, really not too bad. Uh, still a reasonably comfortable night uh, out there for the concert. And then tomorrow, upper 80s and lower 90s instead of upper 70s and lower 80s. So you can see we've we've warmed up about 10 degrees over the past couple of days, but the extended forecast is actually really non impactful besides the heat and the humidity. No thunderstorms, no severe weather, no uh, real windy conditions, just really hot and stagnant most likely. So if you're going to soar NWA, remember the light, loose fitting clothing, the water, wear that sunscreen, bring some sunglasses, anything you can do to protect yourself uh, from the sun. River Valley, pretty much the same thing. The return of triple digit heat, unfortunately, uh, by the time we get toward the end of the weekend. Stay with us. We are going to continue 4029 News at 5 after a short break.